I guess you're here for the big family small farm 600 pound food haul that broke the picnic table. <laughs> Hi, we're Art and Bree. Four years ago, we left the city to buy a 100 year old farm to turn it into our own productive homestead where we can grow our own food, build a healthy life, and raise our kids just how we like. If you want to join us in our homesteading adventure on our small farm, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bree and I are going to run down the road and pick up our Azure Standard Order. I'm pretty excited about this one. This was not the day I expected to have. Well, the Azure Order got changed, so... You were going to run and grab it first thing this morning. I didn't expect that I'd be cleaning all day, or all morning. Yeah, it was a really sweet thing to do. Our reserve standard order or drop is actually late, and it's it's really that's. Okay. It actually makes sense. It's a that's a pain in the butt, honestly, because we actually have a babysitter, and this we're a long way from our house. But here's the cool thing about reserve standard: they actually have trucks that go from their facility in Oregon, right? I think it's Oregon. Yeah. It's Oregon or Washington, and they drive and basically directly deliver from their warehouse to hundreds and hundreds of locations across the country. So it's actually kind of a cool thing. What it means is that he got a little behind. Yeah. And he's literally doing a drop like an hour that way, and then he's coming here. When you look at their map, it's incredible because basically you are probably within 30 to 40 minutes of a drop. Of a drop. It's amazing. I love ordering from Azure Standard. I I really do because <clears throat> first of all, a lot of like the grains and things you order, they grow. And um that's really neat. And then you can just you can get so many things in bulk. And sometimes the prices are significantly less. Sometimes they're about the same as you get in the store, but you're just getting a whole bunch at once. The shipping is like super low because you're sharing it with like a huge group of people. Anyways, I'm pretty excited and I actually held myself back on this order and it's a big order. But next time I'm gonna get some even more like pantry staples. We're talking about Azure Standard for a couple reasons. One, I wanted to share about it for a while because it's a great resource for people who might live in areas where it's hard to get organic food at a good price. Or just bulk food, not everything's organic. Or bulk food, but it's just a great resource too. Like we live in an area where if we drive an hour, we can get to like any store, you can buy anything. But here's an example of something you can't buy everywhere. If you wanna buy some live sauerkraut, you probably, if you live in many areas of the country, you can't go buy it. I mean like real, legit, non-canned sauerkraut with living stuff in it. You can't just go to the store and buy that, can you? Like at our grocery store. No. No. So you, if you wanted to order that, you could order that from Reserve Standard. They have crazy selection. You can buy anything from ice cream to frozen pizza. Um, and they actually have really reasonable prices because you're taking advantage of essentially um, like freight shipping charges. So yeah. we'll put a link in our video description if you want to check them out. Yeah, and we wouldn't tell you about it unless we really thought it was awesome. That's really true. <laughs> and I really think it's awesome as the woman of the house, not to be sexist, but I run all this stuff. <laughs> um, this is awesome because I also run our animal feed, our human food, and this has been amazing for me because it means that I can get bulk items, I can get hard to get items, and I can just go get them, you know, every few months. Wow, this is nice. We're just down here because the uh, the sh drop was delayed an hour. That email went out this morning at 11, but we didn't get it. Um, and so we're, we have a little time to kill, so we're just hanging out at the river. We had just enough time to jump in the water, and now we're gonna head back over and pick up our order. We're at the drop, so there's funny. like 20, 20 cars here waiting for this truck to show up. Everyone need to pick up all their orders and bring them home. Yeah. It's a cool thing to do. Yeah, it's like um, an on-the-road co-op. I've never been to a drop before. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna film it because we're not well, gonna get we in people. we can film it put, putting it in our car. Sure, but I'm not gonna film all these cool people that are hanging out here waiting for their organic food and their nice Toyotas. <laughs> so as you can see behind me, 
there's like people lined up, they're unloading the truck, everyone has like a name tag on the ground and you just, everyone helps unload and puts everyone's um, boxes on each person's name tag. Everyone just works together so it gets done like super fast. We had refrigerated stuff. Did we get ref our refrigerated stuff? The sausages were what was frozen. All right, we got our drop. Basically everyone jumps in and unloads the tr truck together so you don't even have to have like a forklift and unloads the pallets that were for this location. So from the time the truck got there till the time we drove away was about 30 minutes and there was probably 50 different families there getting their bulk orders. What could we possibly have gotten in all those boxes and bags and buckets? This is a large family monthly bulk haul, but some of this stuff is stuff that I'll only buy twice a year. I'm going to show you what I got now. I got um, a couple pounds of this good cocoa powder, a pound of cranberries, a pound of raisins. Obviously I could have bought a lot more, but I like to go easy on dried fruit because it's kind of like candy. I got a little bit of organic grapes because that's one of the hardest things for me to get organically, organic around our area. You didn't try to order those? The grapes? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I can't get them locally, so I can't just like run the store and get some grapes. So I got a couple pounds of those. I mean, obviously I could have gotten like 10 or 20 pounds, but I just got two pounds. I got some sour cream. This is always sold out at our store if they even have it, and they don't have the brand I like anyway. So it's really neat how you can just get like smaller items. You don't have to buy everything like 25 pounds of things. You can just get like two pounds of grapes, a pound of raisins. So you don't have to buy in bulk. You can actually treat this like your grocery shopping trip, which I'm actually going to start doing. So I don't have to drive so far away. You um, save money when you don't go to the grocery store, period. You do. You do save money when you don't go to the grocery or, store. Or leave your house. <laughs> That's true. You really do save money. Um, I bought a box of these summer sausages um, because we eat them a lot. And I can't get um, organic summer sausages anywhere, not even in the city. So I'm excited about those because we eat a lot of like Plowman's lunches where we do like sausage and cheese and pickles and veggies. I didn't even know she was ordering the summer sausages. sausage. It's actually something I grew up eating and love it, but I never buy it because I feel like it's really bad for you with all the chemicals and stuff in it. But I'm excited you got it. Did you know that I really like it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> kind of like salami. I actually splurged and got some snacky stuff <clears throat> because I'm trying to make my life easier in the camper that I live in. So I got a couple bags. My kids really love these. We discovered at a friend's house so we got three bags of these and crackers really make my life easier so i got a couple boxes of crackers it's kind of like christmas because you don't know what it's going to be in each box because they like repurp they repurpose all their boxes so these are our french fry boxes the cool thing about azure is that they're they're kind of cutting out a middleman because typically in this relationship between a warehouse and you there's a grocery store our grocery store chain is a many, many, many tens of millions dollar enterprise, which I don't hold that against them. They are also the only grocery store chain, and so they are very expensive, our grocery store. But you're basically cutting out a middleman because you're buying from a huge warehouse that happens to ship, and they ship directly to co-ops. I got a gallon of apple cider vinegar, which I actually wish I had gotten the five gallon bucket of it, but Whatever. I'm just thankful I remembered to get some. That's how you get five gallons and put it in a bucket. Dried mango. This this was actually an incredible price. And the only place I can get dried mango that doesn't have sugar on it is an hour away. This is more like bulk stuff. These are lentils for the winter. Red lentils for making doll. This was definitely a bulk purchase. It's a bunch of Parmesan cheese because I'm about to make a bunch more um, pesto if I can get the energy to do it. We have 12 pints put up. I'd like to get another 12 or more put up. Plus we eat it on popcorn on Sundays. So I got a case of Parmesan. This was actually cheaper. It was the same amount of ounces, but it was cheaper than what we can get at our local grocery store by buying it in bulk. Grace says I'm crazy because I got all this cream cheese. But um, once again, they don't sell this at our local grocery store and um, I was just happy to be able to get it and it was cheaper than I can get it 
anywhere around here. So I just went ahead and bought a whole case of it, which obviously will last quite some time. And for the grand finale, I have all of this beautiful butter. I wanted to get it in the boxes, but they were out of all the brands I'm used to. Hopefully, eventually, we'll, she'll be our cow will be giving enough cream to really make butter, but she's not really giving enough cream right now. So I just went ahead and thought I would stock up on this as I'm trying to figure out my system with her. Be a week. Are those one pound? Yeah. Those are beautiful. Is it like a week's worth of butter? It's like Maybe a two pounds. pounds. What a fancy way of butter. Yeah. One of the most important things that I get from Azure Standard is alfalfa pellets. Um, Organic, I cannot get organic alfalfa pellets here at all, and so I order them. This is a 40 pound bag for $17.50, and I would have to drive over an hour to get a 50 pound bag for $37. It's a very significant savings, not only on time, but money, fuel, all that stuff. That big pile of alfalfa pellets, plus all this other food you might say well how much did it cost to ship it if you save this money all the shipping on all of this was eighty four dollars so yeah that does boost the price of the alfalfa that's the majority of the weight a little bit but it's still we're still saving significantly over anything we can get here locally including the shipping alfalfa smells so good watch out we're giving the cow a little bit of alfalfa. I'm really excited about the bulk side of the things that I got um, because all of these items are things I cannot get, one, bulk in my area, and two, I cannot get them organic. And I definitely can't get them organic for the prices that I paid. So, all those things make me love this. Um, I did go kind of small. I got 25 pound bags of things instead of 50, just to make sure I could figure out how I wanted to store things. But I got um, organic long grain white rice, black beans, oats, um, white beans, Arthur loves white beans, and um, lentils, we eat a lot of lentils. I got um, 25 pounds of kidney beans. I just got the things that we eat the most. I do kind of wish I'd gotten some pinto beans. That was how the only thing. long will it take us to eat all those, do you think? It depends on how diligent I am I am, I am to use them instead of canned beans. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So a lot of times I forget. Though they say canning beans is like your best first pressure canning ex like experiment. So I may work on that eventually once things settle down, um, is pressure canning beans. Because I, I don't know how to pressure can. Once um, the pressure is off? once the pressure is off. For storage, I got these five gallon buckets. I got them from Missouri Standard with, um, they're called Gamma Seal lids. So they're easy to open, they're airtight, and they're pest proof. Yeah, so you just, now it's airtight, now it's open, which that is pretty cool, because I have seen buckets where you have to like have a little rubber mallet to like pry off, or a little tool to like pry off the lid. So this is really nice. Here's to our adventures in bulk food. I mean, I bought things bulk at the store from the bulk section, but never like 25 pounds at a time or 50 pounds at a time. And I've been wanting to do it for years, so I'm excited about this. We don't make preparing for calamity a big focus of our channel or our life, but it's not completely out of our minds that it's good to be prepared, and so this is also just a, a, one little venture into some food storage. Well, we've always had food storage, just not... I've always had food storage. Especially meat and... I've always had meat and vegetable food storage, but not as much dry goods. So if this goes well, I'm going to branch out into flowers and... Um, definitely gonna get a bunch of salt next time I forgot to do that what I really enjoy about this too which I didn't do it this year because I feel like I, I have too much on my plate but like we can't get organic peaches and organic cherries here um, at all much less enough to can and so you can order that kind of stuff from Azure and they have their own orchards and stuff and so I'm excited for next year whenever I have a kitchen that I can actually can in to get the things that I don't grow buy them bulk from them since we don't have a local farmer that provides it and 
we'll have canned peaches. So basically, in short, the food hall broke the picnic table. Yes. And Brianna's holding it up now. <laughs> Hold it up! Don't let it fall! <laughs> it really is broken. It's falling. Look right here. This broke, and this this is a kind of poor design, but it, it's worked for so long. Four years. Five years. And it, is it going to fall if you let go? I don't know the baby's on here. I'm not going to risk that. Just you stand there. I'll unload this side. Okay. Go sit in this chair. Thank you. I like those lids. <laughs> Arthur was asking me all these questions Girl. about storage that I can't answer. This was before he saw the lids I got. I said, I just got what was recommended. I don't know if it's the right thing or not. And then he just said, I like these lids. For now, they're gonna go in the barn, but that will not be a good place for them to be through the winter because it, they'll be freezing temperatures in here. So these actually fit in our little crawl space under the camper, which is a little bit better, quite a bit better temperature controlled. So that's where they will go eventually. But first I got to, I've got to get um, my jar situation figured out in my little pantry in the camper. And I'll have some jars of dry goods in there and then they'll go under the camper. And whenever I need to fill a new jar, I'll just take one bucket out. We have a link below this video in the description if you to, if you also wanna shop from Azure Standard. And I hope you enjoyed this little bit different video cause we did. And I was so excited to get all of my goodies in today and to start our dry food storage system. And we will keep you guys updated on how that's going. Thanks guys, we'll at least give you an update on the house and the progress we've made at the end of the week. We will see you really soon. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.